Well, hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars. KPRC2 Investigates has exposed doctors and businesses billing shocking amounts for COVID tests that are supposed to be free. Lawmakers noticed and passed a new law that makes price gouging for tests and vaccines during the pandemic illegal. Here's Amy Davis now with how the law works and how you can help hold businesses accountable, Amy. Yeah, good morning, guys. Exactly. This new law specifically targets many hospitals and freestanding ERs. And it really requires and counts on you, the patient, to report agreed just charges to the state. 3520 for me, 3520 for my daughter. $8,900 each person. Yeah. Wow. In January, we exposed shocking charges from River Oaks Emergency Room and Clear Creek Emergency Room for drive-through COVID tests. I was just flabbergasted. I mean, I'd never set foot in the building. The, I spent maybe five minutes with the nurse um, in with, for, through my car window. <coughs> During the special session of the Texas legislature, lawmakers passed Senate Bill 2038. It makes it illegal for these freestanding ERs to charge an individual or third party, like your insurance company, a facility fee or an observation fee for a drive through service. The same law says the businesses must disclose the prices they charge for the COVID test, vaccine, and any other associated fees. And during a declared state of disaster, like the current pandemic, free Standing ERs are prohibited from charging more than 200% for the same or similar service offered by healthcare facilities in the same or nearest county. We have this unique healthcare need tied to this declared disaster. You can't do things that are price gouging, that are harmful to consumers, taking advantage of that disaster. It's 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 ridiculous. And and now at least in these narrow cases, it's against the law. And if freestanding ERs violate this law, they can be charged a $10,000 fine for the first offense. On the second offense, their license can be suspended for 30 days and they'll get a $50,000 fine. On the third offense, the business would lose their license to operate. So this law just took effect September 1st, and it is complaint driven. So if a freestanding ER in Texas does any of those things we mentioned, you should report it to the Texas Health and Human Services Commission. That's the state agency that licenses freestanding ERs. We have a link and the information you need to file complaints with them on clicktohouston.com. And then coming up tonight at 10, KPRC2 investigates more shocking charges for simple COVID tests. And more importantly, where you can find those tests for free. Ah, yes. yes, if you don't need that, if you guess if you're not in a rush for it or whatever. Uh, yeah, I mean, in some of these places, I mean, it, we'll get them to you pretty quickly. They're actually working on trying to do the rapid tests at, at a lot of the county sponsored clinics as well. Right.